Hey everybody and welcome back to Avid Max Gear Reviews. My name is Steve and today we'll be taking a look at the all new Orvis chest pack. So let's take a closer look at this pack, working our way from the outside in, checking out some of the key features. So the material itself is made from a recycled Cordura polyester, which is an eco-friendly fabric that's also very durable. That's going to keep this pack lasting for a long time, so you can get many seasons of enjoyment from the system. On the back of the pack is a very comfortable harness setup, which is going to distribute the weight evenly and keep you comfortable for long days on the water. On the front of those straps, there's a few different attachment points for you to clip in any small piece of gear that you'd like to keep at your fingertips. I've got mine set up with a pair of forceps. On the side, we have a designated slot for a zinger or a retractor. This one has a uh, Orvis Pro Nipper clipped in right there. Uh, it's going to keep that piece of gear handy for me, but also keep it out of the way so I don't catch it on any fly line. On the other side, we have another slender side pocket. And this, in my opinion, is the perfect spot to stash any sort of floatant. I've got this one set up with the Orvis Gel floatant, and that's generally the size and shape of gear that's gonna fit perfectly into these side stash pockets. On the front, there's another slender pocket. It's got a couple different bungee pockets in there as well, and these are the perfect size to hold any sort of leader. But you could also fit most smaller fly boxes into this small front slender pocket here. Working up from there, we have the new Orvis Tippet with it. This small tippet station is perfect for keeping your tippet from hanging up on any material on the side of the pack. Uh, it turns over really easily and can also hold quite a bit of tippet. So here I've got this one set up with 1x all the way through 7x. They all turn over really well and having it right here is really handy because I'm going to be changing flies and swapping out tippet diameters and this helps me do that really quick and easy. Up from there is a small fly patch station. Really, you could attach Velcro to any piece of gear that you'd like to keep right here. I've got mine set up with a small CNF box. Uh, this is probably what I'm using most throughout my day, so having it right here is super handy. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the pack. So you'll notice all the pull tabs on this bag are nice and large, so especially when you have cold hands, you can still easily grab on there and get into all of your compartments. Kind of got mine set up for winter fishing right now, so you'll see I have a pair of gloves. So make sure to take these guys off if you are going to handle some fish. This spot is also great. I like to take an ultralight insulating layer and just ball it up, and that fits pretty well. Um, but if especially if you're like me, you're definitely going to want to use this space for some snacks too. I have a small camera in here. Typically, this is going to be balled up inside a dry bag, but just so you can see the layout a little bit easier, it's just by itself. Behind there, I do have a thermometer on a bungee. It's still long enough that I can take an E and reach the water and check out what the temp is. And on either side of that, I've got some smaller pockets that are really the perfect size to store some more liters. There's a zippered pocket behind all that. This one does have a nice little uh, clip in there so you can keep your keys locked in, make sure that you're never worried about them falling out. Um, and this pocket is large enough that you could fit a number of smaller accessories. I've just got a big stash of some split shot in mind. Around the perimeter, we have a few more bungee pockets. Now the smaller ones on the side are perfect for a smaller tool like a nail knot tool. You could stuff a whole bunch of indicators in there as well. And then the largest bungee pocket is really the perfect size for most medium sized fly boxes. The space is really customizable. You can build it out to suit whatever your fly fishing needs are. And uh, overall, the pack is really well thought out, super functional and very practical. Another configuration available in this series of packs is the hip slash chest pack. Depending on where you want to wear it, just wear this sling over your shoulder or around your neck and the optional waist belt stows away right here. Now for days when all you need is something smaller like this guy, it's really the perfect solution. Another thing that's nice about both of these packs is that they're compatible with the bug out backpack, which looks a little bit something like this. So as you can see, the chest pack integrates really nicely with the bug out backpack. And like I said, you can also do this with the hip slash chest pack as well. Now this is a really great solution for when you need some extra storage, maybe something like an Alpine Lake trip. We do have a review fully in depth on the bug out backpack. So go ahead and check that out on our channel if you're interested. And if you'd like to check out the chest pack or the hip slash chest pack, go ahead and check them out at adamax.com. 